All eyes are on Hurricane Barrel, the deadly storm ravaging the Caribbean with the Gulf Coast in its sights. Barrel sparking rip currents concerns from Texas to Florida as the East Coast is bracing for the same. Rip currents powerful enough to pull a champion swimmer out to sea and from the sky can look almost otherworldly. That's foam and churned up sand being sucked out to the ocean. But rips can be deceiving from an elevated spot on the beach. NOAA experts advise also looking for this dark, flat areas where the waves are not breaking. Those might look safe to swim in because that is what looks most calm, but that's actually the presence of a rip current. But they're not always this obvious, so don't just rely on your eyes. Just talk to the lifeguard and they'll point them out to you. They'll point out all the dangers and where's the safe spot to swim. And if you're caught in one, it's critical to know what to do and hope there's a lifeguard nearby. Erin Johns and her dad, Derek, nearly drowned in a rip current in Nantucket in 2015. It was all captured by a selfie stick that was wrapped around Aaron's wrist. I used all my energy and I could not swim against that current. I didn't know what to do. Even Derek, a former Marine collapsing on the beach after being rescued, he was exhausted just seconds from the unthinkable. Well, I had no energy or life left in me at that point. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever experienced. But 15-year-old Matthew Coker wasn't as lucky. He drowned in a rip in Lake Michigan while swimming with friends. Matt was a good swimmer. We are more pool people. We don't go to the beach that often. They were knee deep. Matt didn't know anything about red flag warnings, rip currents. We need to understand that even though you know how to swim, you still could become a drowning victim. One of the most common mistakes, trying to swim straight back to shore against the current. ABC's Matt Gutman demonstrates. The thing with the rip current is it's moving about as fast as an Olympic swimmer. So unless you're Michael Phelps, you're probably not going to beat him. You're basically swimming against this treadmill, and you're probably not even making progress to shore. You're actually going backwards. The waves start crashing over your head, and you start to exhaust yourself. And that's when it's harder to stay above water. Instead, experts say the first thing to do is flip and float. This will help keep you calm. And it's since they say the first stage of drowning is actually panic. Take a breath. And this is when you have the time and capacity to start thinking about your next move. The next move, swimming parallel to shore, following the direction of the coastline until you feel that current stop pulling or when you're out of that brown foamy water. Then swimming at an angle back to shore. And if you can't get out, it may mean you're caught in a rotating current like this. In that case, just flip, float, and signal for help. Rip currents can take you out, but they won't take you down. So you're going to be okay. You just have to remember to stay calm and stay afloat until you can get out of it.